Hi, I'm David and this is The Biology Classroom. In this video, I'm going to tell you 10 things that you have to know about enzymes. Number one, all enzymes are globular proteins. This means that all enzymes are coded by DNA, built up by amino acids, soluble in water, almost spherical in shape, have at least a tertiary structure, and have a 3D shape. Number two, enzymes are biological catalysts. They speed up or increase the rate of a reaction, but they are not altered during the reaction, so they can be reused afterwards. And this is the reason why normally we only need them in a small amount. Since they are catalysts, reaction can still occur without their presence, but it might be very slow and a lot of energy input is required. Number 3. Enzymes can function inside or outside of cells. They are called intracellular and extracellular enzymes. Those enzymes that catalyze Krebs cycle and Kelvin cycle are found and function inside a cell. Digestive enzymes such as amylase, cellulase, pepsin, and trypsin function outside of cells after they have been secreted out. Number 4. Enzymes lower the activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to occur. For example, heat energy usually is needed to increase the kinetic energy of substrate molecules. With sufficient kinetic energy, the molecules will collide and turn into the products. Enzymes can lower down the activation required to kickstart a reaction. When lesser energy is needed, the reaction can occur more easily and more quickly. Bear in mind that the overall change of energy is not altered as the energy content of subject and product are not affected. Number 5. Enzymes are highly specific. The small portion of an enzyme which combines with its subject is called an active site. It is complementary to the shape of its subject. The sequence of amino acid that made up the active site is unique for all enzymes. This makes them highly specific. When substrate combines with the enzymes at the right orientation, which is known as effective collision, ES complex or enzyme substrate complex is formed. Reaction occurs and product is released. The active site is then free to combine with another substrate. Number 6. The mode of action of enzymes can be described in two models. The first one is the lock and key model. Substrate is the key and enzyme is the lock. The shape of the key fits precisely to the lock. This is not quite accurate because enzymes are not rigid. The second model is the induced fit hypothesis. It says that the shape of active sites are not exactly complementary to the substrate. They change in the presence of a specific substrate to become complementary. When effective collision occurs, the active site of enzyme changes slightly so it fits to the substrate. Then the reaction occurs. Number 7. The progress of an enzyme catalase reaction can be investigated by two ways. First, is to measure the rates of formation of products. For example, the rate of H2O2 decomposed by catalase can be calculated by collecting the oxygen form over time. Secondly, you can measure the rates of disappearance of substrate. For example, the rate of amylase breakdown starch can be calculated by measuring the time taken for starch to disappear by using an iodine solution. Number 8. An enzymatic reaction can be affected by a few factors. They are temperature, pH, substrate concentration, enzyme concentration, and inhibitor concentration. Number 9. Inhibitors can be competitive or non-competitive. Competitive inhibitor has a shape that is complementary to the active site. This inhibition can be overcome by increasing substrate concentration. Non-competitive inhibitor combines to the enzyme at its allosteric site. It alters the shape of the enzyme, causing its active site no longer complementary to its substrate. In some cases, substrate can still bind to the enzyme, but there's no reaction due to the binding of inhibitor. Number 10. The Vmax and Km As substrate concentration increases, rate of reaction increases until the enzymes are saturated with the substrate. The maximum rate of reaction is the Vmax. Km is the concentration of substrate which permits the enzyme to achieve half of Vmax. It shows us the affinity of an enzyme to its substrate. An enzyme with a high Km requires a greater concentration of substrate to achieve Vmax, so it has a low affinity. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.